we look at skills as a community um, that, that's made up of individuals, however they can work collectively together to actually create a culture shift within the school. But in order to support that, we need to actually train and equip both adults and students within those environments with a level of mental health literacy so that they can challenge the stigma. With these classes, it's becoming easier and easier to talk because um, it just reduces the stigma and helps people understand better what's actually going on. For the staff, it's good to be included and in doing the same materials as the young people are doing, and it helps, I think, for the young people to see the staff doing exactly what they're doing as well, to know they're really getting a similar input. I think mental health is something that's really more coming, becoming more prominent in this day and age, especially affecting young people, as we've learned in, uh, yesterday and today. So I think it's important that it gives the kids a space to be able to talk about things that maybe they never spoke about before. I think the fact that they're, like, it's us guys that are leading it and not like adults, they feel more comfortable. If somebody's got a bone sticking out their leg, you're like, oh, I've got a broken leg. But if somebody's anxious or depressed, often don't know. It's not necessarily so, visible. Yeah, it's good to get these signposts here and different symptoms that we can recognise in other people and to just get questioning each other and then get the conversation going. Young people are Scotland's future. Um, we need to raise a generation that are happy and healthy so that they can flourish into the young people that they deserve to be. They should have the same tools and ability to talk about their mental health and their feelings and their life and their experiences without being discriminated against.